up everybody and welcome back. So I thought I'd do something a little different today and introduce you to five of the other most important members of my little family. So um, Regan and I are renting a house at the moment, which is this one, obviously. And part of our lease is we can have like dogs and cats, but we basically, we, we don't feel like we can have that kind of commitment right now. Um, so we basically, we opted for a smaller, more, less labour intensive pet and um, a warning for those who don't like rodents, we have rats. <laughs> Francis. So the thing about rats is there's a bit of a stereotype that they smell, that they're not very loving creatures, etc, um, etc. Et Completely wrong, basically. Um, we've got five and they're the most loving adorable creatures they clean themselves regularly um they, they they're just lovely i mean francis is thoroughly enjoying himself although he wants to go and explore and see if he can find any food um what are you doing? so basically we have five rats we've got three boys and we've got two girls so they live in two separate cages because since they're both um not neutered um we could end up with hundreds and hundreds of rat babies very easily which is something we don't want we're, we're happy with our five um, as they are at the moment. So we've had our boy rats for about a year. We worked out that they're about a year and a half, so we've probably had them just over a year now. Um, they're about a year and a half. Um, our girls, we worked out they're about a year old. Um, yeah, so we'll introduce you to the family. So this one here who's deciding that he wants to climb down and explore the bed behind me, this is Francis. So this is Francis, he's the wee boy that I picked out originally, um, he's a wee ginger with a white tummy. He's very very bold and very adventurous, he's, he's always keen to um, climb into things and doesn't worry about climbing on top of things that he shouldn't climb on top of. He's named Francis after um, the character Francis and Malcolm in the Middle and I pretty much had sworn pretty much right from when I decided I wanted to get rats that that was what his name was going to be. And he's just brooksing away happily. He really wants to go and climb on the bed though, so I probably should go let him do that. Because <laughs> otherwise he's going to scratch down the back of my neck. But yeah, he's a very loving rat. He's very confident. And he's just, he, he, he loves cuddles and scratches behind the ears. Don't you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> One free. And second of all, we've got this little cutie. So this is Topher. He was the last one that we got of the same litter because basically all our three boys are related. They're from the same um, family. This is the third wee boy we picked up. He um, originally had another owner. He was spoken for, but um, the offer fell through and we managed to get a hold of him. Hello, Francis. Topher is um, the sweetest loving rat I've ever had. He's the one who's always all, all over my um, Instagram feed because he's always giving me snuggles and kisses. He's adorable. He's also ginger, but he has the really cool um, white patterns on his back, which is very sweet. But now he is the cuddliest of the three boys. He loves, you know, snuggling. All the three boys love snuggling, but Topher is definitely the most chill about snuggles. Um, Topher is named after the character of Dollhouse, because he was my favourite. You can easily tell that we are huge nerds, Regan and I, when we come to naming our pets. But he's, a, he's an adorable little creature. Uh, yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, he's adorable. Whee! You can go on the bed too. Okay, go explore with your brother. And last but not least of our little boys is the shyest of our three boys and this is Abaddon he's a wee grey a wee grey fluff he's very sweet he's definitely the most um low key but he's also a little bit skitsy not not really skitsy he's just a little bit he's more afraid than the other boys but he is still a very loving very adorable rat um I suggested the name Abaddon Purely because I was playing Binding of Isaac at the time and I loved the item Abaddon. Regan ran with it because it was, what, the greater demon of hell? And we thought that was pretty cool. 
Yeah. He does not suit his name at all. <laughs> he's he's not at all a demon. He's he's the, he's sweet. He's adorable. So our boys, like I said, they're about a year and a half. They're quite big. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the rats are doing now behind me, but um, yeah, they're lovely. They're just they're very cute. Look how cute these little faces. You relish in the little cute fuss. I know, you want to go join your brothers. Mwah. Oh, hello, Francis. Look at that little face, and you tell me that's not cute. <laughs> no. no, but they are really lovely pets. They're very intelligent. They can be trained. We haven't really trained ours very much. Because um, we just like to play with them. <laughs> we haven't really trained them a lot. We... we have trained them a wee bit to like jump on our shoulders when we want to go walk somewhere, or want to go travel somewhere with them, and kind of to stay there and not to like try and jump off. But other than that, that's kind of all we've really done. They're basically just little cuddle machines, aren't yeah. So that is our boy rats. Um, next we'll introduce our two girl rats. So we have two little girl rats. They are a lot smaller than their male counterparts. Um, we got them, they came to us a little bit earlier than they should have. Uh, we got our boys at six weeks old. Um, this is Codex, our eldest of our two girls. Um, we reckon she was about five, four or five weeks old when we got her. We got her from a breeder who wasn't particularly good at breeding. We didn't realise at the time. Um, there was all that inbreeding going on. And so she has a bit of some respiratory issues, which is quite common in rats that aren't like bred properly. So she's a wee bit um, squeaky in her breathing and whatever, but she's a lovely rat anyway. Um, she's just a little bit noisier. So this is Codex. She is um, named after Felicia Day's character in the guild. She is the older of our two. She's still quite small though. She was very, very nervous when we got her, but she's getting a lot better and she's a lot calmer than she was. She loves sitting in people's shirts, she loves climbing in shirts, she loves climbing into things, she just likes hiding, basically. She's very sweet, she's she's a little bit hyper, um, I'm pretty sure she's really gay for her sister. They're not actually related, um, <laughs> but she's very, she's very sweet. And she's bricksing away today, so she's just, she's loving it. <laughs> Oh, there you go, sweetie. You can go play. And this is our other little girl. She's our younger girl, but she's quickly surpassed her sister in size. This is Domino, named after her black and white spots. Cool enough, she's got, um, cool enough. Cooler still, she's got a little black spot on her tail that goes down actually onto her tail. So she's got a half black tail, which is quite cool. But we got Domino when she was about four weeks old from a pet store. She was like this big, she was so tiny. But we got her as a companion for Codex because rats are like pack animals, they like socialising. But yeah, Domino was very, very underhandled as a rat, as a baby. Um, she didn't like being picked up at all. She hated being handled. She's a lot better at it now. She's still not particularly fond of um, being picked up for long periods of time. But she's getting a lot better, aren't you, darling? Hey? Hey? But yeah, she's a sweetheart. All our rats are sweethearts. You can't really say anything else about them. They're all lovely. And come on down. But no, they're all they're all very lovely. I love them all to bits. But anyway, that is our pet family, as well as our human family, you know, Regan, myself, and five rats. So if you enjoyed Hello. So if you enjoyed that video, please make sure to let me know. You can like and subscribe. Um, all of my social media links will be down in the description below. Um, you can watch my last video by clicking just up here, and you can also subscribe by clicking up here. Reminder that I am holding a blinder packet giveaway that um, runs out at the end of this month, and I'll put a link to the video here and also down in the description. But I hope you all have a fantastic day. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video.